Hey there friends and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be making this autumn themed tag using some of these dies designed by Nicole Spore. And this set is called Welcome Fall. I think it's really cute. It's got all of these fall things as well as this little basket here. And for today's um, tag, since I'm not doing a card, I'm going to be changing that basket into sort of a little shaker element on my tag. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. It's really simple. It just takes a few steps. So I've taken all these dies and cut out a ton of pieces. I've got my basket here. I've got a sign, lots of apples, pumpkins, leaves, branches, all the fall things. And I'm totally in love with this uh, die set because fall is my absolute favorite season of the year. So as you can see, I have gone ahead and cut out this basket. I've got lots of layers here because I'm going to stack them up to make my little shaker window. And I did cut a few layers of the bottom piece as well. Um, but since I cut it out of just some regular craft cardstock, I wanted to get a little bit more interest and dimension going on there. So I'm taking some ink and I'm just blending it on and just adding a little bit more color. And that helps it look not quite so flat and dull, but gives it a little bit of variation in color. And I think it really helps it pop a little bit. So I only went ahead and I inked up the uh, layers that you're going to be seeing. So just the top layer here. All of those other layers are just going to be stacked behind that top piece. So you're not going to see them anyway. So I didn't waste time inking those up. So I'm grabbing my glue and I'm going to go ahead and just glue all of these pieces together. Now these are some smaller die cut pieces, um, but I really like that Barely Art glue because it's got that precision tip um, that you can apply the glue right where you want it to go. And I've never had issues with this glue clogging on me, so it's been my kind of go-to glue to grab as I'm crafting. So you can see I'm just going to be adding layer after layer. I've put one layer on already. I'm going to go ahead and put another one on. I just kind of put that layer on top and sort of squeeze the sides so that I know that they're all even. And as I'm going along, I'm also cutting out this middle piece. Now this is because I don't need that middle piece in there. And if I cut it out, I'm going to get all of those shaker bits shaking around inside a little bit better than if this basket were divided in half. So I'm just going to leave that top piece all intact, but this bottom piece that I'm uh, stacking up, I am going to cut that, that middle um, piece out of the die. Now I have my glue and I have a piece of acetate right here and I'm just going to layer that on top of my bottom piece that I have all stacked up and I'm going to hold it there for a few seconds. Um, the acetate is a more slippery type material so it takes a few seconds longer for that glue to dry than if you added it onto cardstock but it will dry and it will hold that acetate really well. So I'm just going to kind of press it down there, make sure it's good and stuck. And then I carefully took my scissors and trimmed around the outside of this basket. So I only had acetate right on the center for the window. You can see there, I was kind of wiping away a little bit of that glue on the inside of my window. I didn't want to have um, the glue dried there so that you would see it um, in my shaker window. You could also take a little Q-tip or something and just kind of wipe away any of that excess glue. Um, I just used my fingers and it seemed to work fine. So I'm just cutting around the outside. Like I mentioned, I want to trim off all of that extra acetate. So I just have a window on top of my basket. Now you can make a shaker element out of most of your dies. If you do go ahead and cut out lots of layers and stack them up and glue them together. If you just make it a little bit thicker, you could put a little, um, some glitter, some sequins, some die cuts in there and make a shaker window with um, most any of your dies. So go ahead and experiment with it. I think it's fun to make some unexpected little shaker elements on cards and tags like I'm doing today. And it's just a really fun project. So here is that shaker basket all assembled. You can see how thick it is on the sides. I am not going to be using glitter with this. Um, you can use glitter on some of your shaker, shaker windows, uh, but 
I find that that glitter escapes a lot easier than the sequins do. So I'm using some of these gold sequins and I put some of those apple die cuts inside my basket. I have the bottom portion of the basket already glued down onto my tag. I've already got that sign post there behind my basket and I'm just going to go ahead and glue on the top of this basket here, just putting glue all around the outsides and I'm going to go ahead and push it down. Now I did want to hold this basket in place for a minute or two so that glue can dry before I shake it up. I didn't want it to fall off and all of those sequins go flying. So I just wanted to make sure that that was securely in place before I added the rest of my elements to my card. So I've kind of sped things up here. I'm just adding a lot of these other die cut pieces around my basket. You can see I've got the branches cut out of some glitter cardstock. I've got my pumpkins cut out of some orangish cardstock and I did some ink blending with those as well. I really like cutting out these pieces out of colored cardstock and then just adding a little bit of ink on top. I think it just makes it pop a little bit more. So I'm adding tons of pumpkins because those are my favorite. All around this sign, I'm adding some foam adhesive to the back of my sign and I'm going to put that right on top of my sign post here. And you can see that fun little shaker element. Now I did go ahead and foil on my tag. I also foiled some sentiments and I used a copper colored foil because I think that goes really well with the fall theme of this tag. And I've been foiling on photo paper when I can because it gives a really, really great foiled result because um, that foil, that photo paper is so smooth that the foil just gets pressed into it really well and I get great results and great impressions foiling on foiled paper. And then I use the coordinating dies to cut it out and I have a great uh, fall themed tag here. You can see all of those bits shaking up. I went and I added some more apples and leaves and I really like the way this tag turned out. Now up on the top, you can't just leave it blank. So I'm taking a little piece of burlap ribbon and I'm going to tie just a really simple bow. So I cut out all of the footage of me fiddling with this ribbon because sometimes uh, tying bows for me takes a little while. Um, but I just did a simple bow and I kind of uh, tweaked those little loops a little bit so they would hang the way I would like them to. And that pretty much finishes my tag for today. So make sure you head on over to Spellbinders and check out this welcome fall die set designed by Nicole Spore and you will not be disappointed. This is such a cute set and I can't wait to see what y'all do with it. So if you liked this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tap that bell for notifications, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.